Hi folks, today we're having a little look at my uh, old Telegraph sounder and key setup. The Telegraph sounder is an old uh, Western Electric horseshoe sounder made in around the 1890s. And the key, I am thinking the key's in around the 1940s in old English design uh, with uh, various brass fittings and whatnot on it. Uh, now this old technology was obviously designed pre-wireless where uh, your sender station and your receiver station would have been linked via wires uh, usually used by the old railroad system in America uh, or for commercial telegraphy purposes where basically you would have two stations obviously a sender and a receiver and you've been sending your, your various signals and whatnot now I'll send uh, my uh, CQ and uh, my call sign Now obviously when you're sending from your station, you, your uh, sounder wouldn't be clicking. I have this, this wired simply for demonstration purposes. So basically what you would have simply heard when you were sending would have been your key clicking. And the receiving station obviously wouldn't have heard any key clicks, that it just heard the clicks of the sounder. And obviously through the clicks and clacks, the longer the click, the longer the gap of the click is how you decipher whether it's a dot or a dash. Uh, the the sounder is basically a an electromagnet, where you have two electromagnets here on a plate, and when the key is depressed, it obviously creates a circuit, and uh, the magnets are uh, energized and draws the plate down. Very simple technology, but uh, obviously it revolutionised how uh, information was sent around the world, and it's now basically referred to as the Victorian Internet, as this is obviously how uh, information was probably first sent electronically around the world. And it's amazing over the last uh, hundred odd years how things have certainly progressed. So there you go folks, a quick look at my old uh, Victorian internet telegraph sounder, 73.